Hello everyone, it's Wiltshire. Today I'll be doing a review instead of a tutorial on Camtasia Studio 7. This was just released last week and I s decided that uh, it'd be good to do a review and uh, put a score on it, like what I think about it, it and a uh, score out of 10. But anyway, as you can see that Camtasia Studio has changed its layout and so have I because I have put a webcam shooting on my videos as you can see here. Anyway, um, as you can see the options are no longer on the left hand side of the program. They're up above here and down here. So I'm going to import a video showing you some of the features that have changed in Camtasia Studio 7 from 6 and 5. So this may take a while to open because my computer is not all that fast when recording my screen because I'm running a laptop and its graphics aren't all that great. But uh, it took me about 10 hours to make this lay this uh, intro so uh, better like it. <laughs> So um, when you add a video instead of the presets coming up, it's asking you to edit the dimensions of the videos. So I'm just going to click the drop down menu here and oh look at that, they've actually put YouTube on 1280 by 720 now, which is uh, nice and better this time. So after it, uh, putting a video in the timeline, we these um, options have now become highlighted and available so the callouts um, they've changed just a bit to a drop down menu and to show you a preview of what they look like this time so and if you ever also hover over them you can see what they are anyway so um, yeah those are the callouts it's uh, changed a little bit these pan and zoom or zoom and pan excuse me have not really changed at all but audio has now changed, or audio enhancements, excuse me, has now changed to audio. Um, as you can see, the editing tools right here used to be on the t uh, timeline, but now they're in the audio section. And they've also included a enable voice optimization for a male and female voice. And as you can see, the old uh, audio enhancements is still there. Quizzing, I really don't know much about because I think this is new or I think it's in Camtasia Studio actually uh, number six but I never really had a look at it so I guess you can I don't know, add a quiz and survey I guess to your videos there's also a more tab you can uh, make your cursor bigger in the effects so people if they have um, they're visually handicapped I guess it, it's uh, better I, better for them you can also add sound effects to if you highlight something or so, uh, or right click you can add like a ripple or a warp or a ring or something like that but um, and they also still have voice narration, they have record cameras still. Picture in picture is um, basically the webcam uh, recording I am doing right now. Uh, they've added this feature in Camtasia, Camtasia Studio 7, excuse me, but not in Camtasia Studio 6, so it's brand new and uh, I decided to feel like using this feature. And if you guys don't like the webcam being there, just you know, comment, let me know if I should take it or leave it the way it is. So if you guys don't like it, I'll take it out. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so picture in picture, you can edit the um, the uh, video that you're recording with your webcam while recording your screen, such as moving it uh, on the on the video itself or resizing it or stuff things like that. Um, and they also have added captions, uh, a brand new captions uh, option. I forget which one it is, but I think it's uh, overlay. They didn't have that in Camtasia Studio Six. But um, anyway, guys, that's Camtasia Studio 7 uh, review. Um, I will be giving a score on it in just a few seconds, and uh, I hope you, this video um, was interesting, and I hope this will encourage you to go buy Camtasia Studio 7. Remember, guys, don't pirate software. And uh, yeah, so and the link will be in the description below for this program if you'd like to go buy it or get the trial. It's also available for Mac, and uh, yeah, let's have a look at the score. For the positive things about Camtasia Studio 7, it's very user friendly. Second, the webcam recording feature while your screen recording is absolutely fantastic. That is my favorite feature. And lastly, it's the best screen recorder I've ever had and that you can find on the market. The only negative thing about this program, and the only problem I have about it, is it's limited in the video editing department, but it has great features in the program other than video editing nonetheless. Now for the overall score, I give it a 9.5 out of 10. My recommendation for this program is to buy it. You'll be 100% pleased with it. However, it is a little expensive, but it's wor well worth your money. And it's similar to Window Movie Ma Maker's layout that is an XP. It's not very powerful in terms of video editing features, but it's a fantastic screen recorder. So I hope you guys found this review helpful and interesting. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later, guys.